Hey everybody, another great day in the neck of the woods here. Uh, I'm just coming and pulling all my traps today. Um, gotta go to work. That sucks, but uh, somebody's gonna do it. Anyways, just coming down my trail, I saw some fresh lynx uh, tracks and then it turned off the trail just before um, one of my lynx pens, so missed that one. And uh, there's been a lone wolf walking down the trail. He's walked about 10 kilometers now already not even sniffing around the the sets or anything like the uh, link sets um, So he's just on the move and then coming along here and all of a sudden I see where whole shitload of wolves have been on the trail so uh, Maybe that's good. Maybe I got some in the, In uh, one of my uh, snares down the trail, so we'll keep you posted right on guys going that away. Right on, guys, yeah! I'm just going to leg hold. I'm going to dispatch them. The wolves have been obviously here. That's awesome. Right on. See that? Young looking wolf. Really young looking. Right on guys, I am amped up. Wolves uh, wolves have been hunting on my trail. Um, first I thought there was only three or four and then I got close to my wolf bait and obviously uh, the tracks told a different story. There was quite a bit of them. Got that one in leg hold, dispatched it. Now I'm just at the bait site uh, assessing it here. You can see they've been all around. I had a uh, foothold right there, uh, yeah, right here, but you can see those drag marks, they're actually coming from one that I had over there. I'm going to check out all my snares, I see one that's dropped, no wolf in it, there's another one dropped, um, like tripped and nothing in it, so two there. Huh, I'll have a look around and hopefully I got something. Right on guys, awesome. Okay, so right there is where I had that foothold. And he obviously stepped on it. it. was stuck there for a bit, chewed on this stump. So he made a bit of a mess here. Not bad though. Perfect, I'm glad I got that though. Um, not so good on the snares. Shit. Stood him up again and we'll see, maybe I'll get one yet. I was gonna pull all my traps today, but I actually have a leg hold right there. Looks like they came close. 
pretty much stepped on it. Doesn't look like very heavy. And I didn't get him. Okay guys, just drug this one out. It's obviously a young female. It's a perfect uh, foot catch. Oh, I'm happy with that. Got them good there. Not super high up, but uh, it's a MB750. A buddy of mine uh, got me a bunch of them with uh, about 10 feet of chain and a hook, a drag on it. A buddy of mine from Fort Nelson, BC. So I've walked around and I've uh, looked at everything. I caught a wolf in a snare. I don't know where I caught it, um, but it chewed off. So that sucks. That's an educated wolf. That's no good. I was coming to pull everything, but maybe I'll leave them again. I had two snares right there that I thought were tripped. Um, actually, only one of them was, and it looks like it was a raven or something that knocked it over. That's about 30 yards from my bait. I still got about 15 or 16 snares hanging. I think I'm going to leave them. But I can't believe that one chewed off. That, that sucks. I had the uh, Seneca power snare system on that one. and um, Yeah, I, I don't know. I must have caught him by the foot or something. So I'll leave these another week, I guess. Check them uh, in a few days. I got a uh, trail camera on this tree here. And it uh, looks like I got about 500 videos. So I'm guessing out of that 500 videos, I might have two or three of wolves and the rest probably ravens. So right on guys, beautiful day in the neck of the woods. I don't know where the time has gone, but uh, season is pretty much coming to a halt here. Pulling all my link sets, all my 330 sets, and uh, gotta go make some money. Okay, guys, see you down the trail. Hey, everybody, just out in the skin and shed today. Um, it's been about minus 32. This shed's pretty small and doesn't take much to heat up, but it takes a bit to keep the heat uh, to it. So, uh, Anyways, I was trying to thaw this wolf out uh, that I caught the other day. Um, in one night it had froze overnight uh, in the shed. Uh, I caught it alive, obviously. But um, anyway, so I've been thinking of ways trying to thaw these uh, wolves out, trying to find an easy way. And uh, I've been reading a bit. Guys are using tubs with cold water. and So I thought I'd give it a try. And uh, anyways, put the wolf in this tub there. There, there was a bit of blood on it, and I had to shoot it to dispatch it, so it's getting the blood out of the fur, which is good, and uh, it's only been in there for about two hours, and it's, you know, it's already pliable, like uh, I'm able to bend it and and whatnot and fold it up, so it's uh, completely submerged. I'll let it thaw out in there. Nice thing about it is it doesn't stink. Um, I guess uh, other than keeping a fire going... What are other people doing to thaw their wolves or their lynx or their wolverines or whatever? Um, any ideas is uh, much appreciated. Give you guys a look. Here's a nice black wolf that's all tanned and ready to go. That one's sold. And a uh, little bit of fur. I got a bunch of lynx already sold, so you're not seeing all of them there. But um, there's a wolverine and there's a coyote and another nice uh, lynx all boarded. It's ready to be taken off of that so right on guys